Triangle piercings. Pros, cons, advantages, disadvantages by a piercer. Coming up next on Body Piercing Basics, episode number 36. So stick around. For those that are new to the channel, my name is Dave O. I'm a professional body piercer and have been since 1994. I'm the owner and operator of the Axiom Body Piercing Studio, located here in Des Moines, Iowa, inside Skin Kitchen Tattoo. So when I talk to you about this, I'm talking at a level of expertise as someone who has done this piercing numerous times and has helped my clients through the healing process. First off, before we get too far into this, I should give you a little bit of a disclaimer. If you are um, uncomfortable with people talking about female genitalia, female anatomy, um, genital piercings, this may not be the video for you. If you are not of an age where it would be appropriate for you to watch this, please watch something else. There are plenty of other videos on this channel that do not talk about body piercing of genitals, genitalia, um, or anything of the sort. If you are looking for some type of sexual stimulation, this is not the video for you. Um, this is solely for educational purposes, for those that are considering getting the piercing, and maybe their partners or anybody that wants to be more informed about this particular piercing. With that out of the way, let's talk about exactly what a triangle piercing is. Of course, it is a female genitalia piercing. It is located below the clitoris, um, usually sometimes through the labia minoris and kind of rests below it. Um, it is a very anatomy specific piercing. It is one that not every woman can have done. Uh, and I'll get a little bit further into that. And it does have some risks involved. So let's get into the pros and the cons. We'll start out with the pros. Number one, increases sexual stimulation. This piercing is known because it puts a lot of pressure on the underside of the clitoris to kind of make it kind of peek out a little bit more and support it while it's being stimulated. Number two, this piercing has a long history of healing without issue and fairly easy. There is a lot of blood traffic in this part of your anatomy. You do heal fairly rapidly when it comes to genital piercings in most cases. So if you are uh, healthy, take care of it. You should have no issue. Number three, kind of on the same subject. This piercing is not prone to infection. If you practice proper aftercare and cross-contamination, you are probably not going to see an infection or other problem. Um, it's not as permatic as other piercings may or tend to be. Number four, this will not affect lifestyle as much as other piercings would. Um, it's not going to affect sleep. It's not something that you're going to have to worry about it affecting employment. I guess there are some jobs you could have that it could affect it. But for the most part, it's just not going to impact things as much as, say, a nostril piercing would or even ear piercings. Number five, this piercing is a piercing that is private. No one needs to know you have this piercing unless you decide to tell them you have it or show them. Uh, basically, if you live uh, in a part of the world or in a social structure or you have employment where piercings are kind of frowned upon, this is something you can have for yourself and not have to worry about it affecting other things. With the pros out of the way, let's move on to the cons, the negatives. Number one, this piercing is extremely anatomy specific. Not everybody can get this piercing. Um, you basically have to have the right structure for it. Also, when the piercing is done, often uh, because of the structure around it, it has to be adapted to fit your anatomy. For that reason, this is something that you need to find someone who is a well-skilled piercer, who understands anatomy, has a lot of experience doing piercings like this. Don't just go to the cheapest shop in town or somebody that's just starting out. Ask them if they've done them in the past, ask them for proof if they have it, and ask for referrals. 
Number two, like all genital piercings, you are more acceptable to STDs. Even after the piercing is healed, you have a hard piece of metal in soft tissue uh, because sexual activity can be a little bit strenuous. It's not uncommon to cause slight tears and then have an exchange of a virus or bacteria and then get an STD. So if you get this piercing, and even if you don't have this piercing, Practice safe sex the way you're supposed to, because we'd like to keep you around in healthy and enjoying life, which means latex barrier whenever you switch partners. Number three. Number three, the sensation or newness of this can wear off over time. Like everything, when something is brand new and shiny, it is a lot more exciting. Clients have said that over time, it kind of just uh, kind of fades a little bit. Now, um, I always say this when it comes to genital piercings or sexual piercings in general. It generally will not decrease the sensation or the enjoyment of that particular area of your body. It may not make it better, but it will probably make it different. And always understand your mind is your biggest sexual organ. Number four. Because of the location of this piercing and uh, it being so anatomy specific, if you do not have the correct anatomy and there's a lot of tissue in there, including nerve, uh, nerves and various other things, it could possibly damage or cause issues or loss of sensation in theory. So be very, very cautious when selecting your piercer. Make sure that you have the correct anatomy for it. And if they say, I don't feel comfortable doing this, listen to them. Look at other alternatives for uh, other piercings that you may enjoy. Number five. This piercing can bleed off and on like old genital piercings for up to five days. For that reason, you are probably going to need to wear um, a pad, panty liner, or a sanitary napkin during that initial five days. It's partly because it's a very blood-rich area, and in blood-rich areas, you tend to see bleeding longer. So now we're gonna get into a consultation. What I would say to you if you came into my studio and said, hey, Davo, I wanna get a triangle piercing. First thing I'm gonna tell you is that the average healing time on this piercing is usually about six to eight weeks. However, um, I do suggest treating it like a healing piercing for three months, meaning doing hot soaks with uh, distilled water and sea salt or a pre-mixed sterile saline solution for five to 10 minutes twice daily and then rinsing afterwards. Also, if you feel like you've contaminated the area, cleaning the area off with an antimicrobial or germicidal soap. I don't no longer just change my aftercare instructions. I no longer suggest using it on a regular basis unless you have um, a depleted immune system or health issues um, where you're prone to infection or longer healing periods. Cross contamination prevention. Most of this is good old fashioned common sense. Wash your hands where you handle it. Try to handle it by the end whenever possible or ball. The only time you have any contact with the piercing is when you are either checking the tightness of the balls, if it is a barbell, or doing the soaks. Keep everybody else's germy little fingers away from it. Understand that microorganisms like bacteria and other pathogens do move on the surface of your skin. So anytime you touch the area, wash your hands before you do so. And also, if your partners insist on handling the area, make sure they also wash their hands beforehand even though it is best if they just stay away. It's the forbidden zone for a little while. Also, I do not suggest exchanging bodily fluids on near around the piercing for a minimum of six months. Now, that doesn't mean you can't have sex for six months. That just needs, means that you need to use some type of latex barrier. Avoid lubricants, uh, spermicide, and anything that has any type of warning, warming gels, fragrances, or any type of uh, stimulant. Make sure you're sticking with just plain water-based lubricant. Gentle at first. If it hurts to do something, stop. Do something else or rest for a little while and try again. Keep your environment clean, clothing, bedding, towels, anything that may come in contact with it. 
Do not submerge the piercing in bodies of water you cannot control the quality of, which is pretty much everything but your own clean bathtub. Keep pets away from it. Don't let them sleep in the bed with you. They're just germ magnets to drag everything that they come in contact into your clean bed. So think about that the next time you're snuggling up. As I mentioned earlier, they can bleed up to five days. And for that reason, I do suggest wearing a panty liner, um, also uh, pads or sanitary napkins, not only to cut down the bleeding, but also to allow a little bit of uh, cushioning while it's going through its tender phase. And it also helps to cut down the amount of moisture in the area, which cuts down the amount of bacteria when it's most acceptable to infection that first few days. Uh, as far as lifestyle changes and other things that go on, of course, any activity that may have contact with the piercing, you should avoid, especially during the first couple of weeks. If it hurts to do something, stop doing it. Um, if you are active in any type of sports where that part of your body is going to come in contact with something, I would suggest cutting back on that or getting this done when you have a break from that activity to give your body time to heal so it's not extremely uncomfortable and you don't have to worry about damaging the piercing. It's always a good idea to get a piercing done like this um, when you can just kind of lounge around the house for a couple days and not really worry about anything. That's about all I have to say about triangle piercings. If you feel like I brought up a question and I didn't answer it, Please leave a comment. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have when I have time. Um, if you have something else you'd like to add to the conversation, maybe you have this piercing or um, have experience with it, please leave a comment. We're here to share knowledge. That's part of the point of this. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of them, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified every single time we post something on here. Also, check out our merch store. We have various different t-shirts, uh, designs, handbags, dog bandanas, cups, mugs, all kinds of fun, fun stuff. Not only will you show your support for the channel and what we're doing here, but also um, show some of your pride in having body art and having that as one of your passions. Till next time, I hope all your piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, I hope to see if your body piercing needs in the future. Have a good day, everybody.